Janet, uh, Janet uh, why do you think we cannot forget June 4th Cannon Massacre? Why we need to hold this uh, activities, you know, rally yeah, every year? Well, we're gathered here today uh, to commemorate the brave students that peacefully protested uh, for a better future uh, in China 35 years ago, and many lost their lives. And uh, in this struggle, the fight continues. We're seeing what's going on in Hong Kong today. In fact, six people were arrested. Uh, and what were they doing? Really, they were fighting for democracy. They were fighting to remember and commemorate the, the lives that had been lost. Uh, and the uh, Article 23 um, that has now been brought in in Hong Kong is absolutely shocking. But of course, predating that, there's also the national security law. And so, you know, for the people who cannot protest and exercise their basic human right, the freedom of speech, uh, the ability to assemble and to gather, we here are doing that. We need to raise their voice. We need to speak up uh, and never be silent. And so that's why I'm here today. Uh, I'm here in Toronto, uh, joined with uh, community members to commemorate uh, June 4th, to honor the students and the parents who could not light a candle even to remember the loved ones that have been lost, to honor the people who's uh, been standing up for democracy and standing up for Hong Kongers who are now struggling today as well. And so uh, united with our strong voice, I hope that we can chart a new path, a better path collectively. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot.